panels. Lathrop High School is going through the beginning stages of reorganizing their learning system. News 13's Kayla Thompson has the details. Since last year, the staff at Lathrop High School says they have been researching ways to incorporate reform. We really started as a staff group of about 25 uh, on our planning team um, looking at data, um, test data uh, after that article that came out last year about Lathrop being a dropout factory, you know, that spurred some of this. We had a lot of parent feedback that, you know, look, you need to pay attention to this, you need to respond to this. So we started looking at and basically conducting a needs assessment. The staff came across the small learning communities model and chose a plan focusing on four different areas. Officials say adding general studies is also a possibility due to a suggestion received Tuesday night at the parent meeting. Right now we have engineering and technical careers, um, business and information technology, fine arts and communication, and then natural and social sciences. It's a way for us to focus in some of our efforts. And, and the four academies came from, you know, we looked at the 16 career structures um, uh, that are nationally recognized by the Association for Career and Technical Education, and we tried to look at what can Lathrop do well. Gaborik says teacher collaboration and student advisory is a very important part of the plan as well. Teachers don't often have an opportunity to work together in any kind of team format. So that'll be a change, a lot of professional development there. A lot of um, professional development working with students, again, not just teaching them in biology class, but in, a, in a, an advisory period once a week and talking about other things like, um, you know, it could be clear career exploration. Um, are you ready? Have you, as a senior, have you, are you on track to take the ACT and the SAT financial aid? The focus of the plan, according to Gaborik, is to create more opportunities for all students enrolled in the school, as well as those planning to attend in the future. If, if there's a career pathway or a strand that, that a student becomes very interested in, then as they go through high school, we want to start creating post-secondary connections for them. So through internships, job shadowing experiences. I think as parents really look at this and you know, really take some time and look through everything, and as we incorporate some suggestions, I think they're going to see it's not going to limit their child, it's going to give them opportunities. They can still take as many electives as they want to take, that they can take honors classes and AP classes, and that those opportunities will not disappear. Gaborik says Lathrop staff needs to have basic structures in place by the end of January to be able to implement the plan by next year. For News 13, I'm Kayla Thompson.